Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA have found yet another way to crash the ultimate team market on FC24. It's with the new feature this year, Evolutions. And especially during the Centurions promo, we've now seen it two weeks in a row where card prices have dropped a lot because of new Evolutions that have been dropped. Today, we're going to cover all of these market drops, prices going down. And while it definitely isn't a surprise that we have a market crash happening at this time of the year, it's just the reason why that we are a little bit surprised at how this market is dropping more differently. Is that good English? More in different areas and different reasons than ever before. So we're going to talk about that today in the video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. Thanks for the patience. Of course, day away this weekend. Couple of streams not happening because we were away, but we are back. It was a good time. I just got back, if you can't tell. But let's get into the business because there is a couple days of content that we have to catch up on, specifically yesterday and the crashes that have been happening since Friday, since all this content came out once again. But I want to cover all the content just really fast. Barella. Man, I was thinking about this uh, as I was looking at all the SBCs that have dropped recently. This Centurion's promo has not been a lack of content at all this might be the best promo of fc24 so far we've gotten tons of evolutions good sbcs not all of them are great this barella is one that i would say is good if you're running a Serie A team this guy's probably got to be in it Three hundred ten thousand coins for a card that on the market would probably be a little bit cheaper than that think about how much pedri is but this is a really really nice card i mean hold it gang three star three star is a bit of a downfall but barella is always cracked in game he has relentless plus tiki taka and slide tackle that is a good card but probably only for those that are running a Serie A team but that's solid. That's solid content, man, right? That's not a bad SBC. That's like a mid slash good SBC. We can't be complaining too much about that. You know what I'm saying? The vintage SBC as well, just to go all the way back to on Friday. That is a really, really good SBC too. I know a lot of people are like, but Nate, there's Blanc. I think I would do Blanc before vintage. That's just me uh, for the anticipate plus that Blanc has. I know that he's got... Uh, Vintage has insane traits as well. Like, man, look at all those playstyles that he has in there. Uh, I don't know. I just think that Blanc it just has some extra juice. And I haven't used Vintage, so maybe this card's got even more juice. But not a bad SBC as well. And then, of course, you go on to the other big SBCs we had, or the big one besides that was Jude Bellingham. And this is a card for me that's in the same realm as Modric. Probably not Modric, sorry, uh, Barella. This is probably even better than Barella because more people would be interested in doing it, and especially for the price that it is. I mean, you compare it to his 88-rated promo card that was out a couple weeks before that was right around a million coins, and when the SBC for Jude was leaked, it went down to like 900k. I mean, this card is 600,000 coins, very comparable to this one, just slightly lower in terms of pace and shooting and it has one better defense and it's an SBC that you can craft he's got relentless plus intercept slide tackle technical and flare this is an SBC kind of like player of the month son if this interests you and fits your team it is worth crafting for and guys let me tell you right now in terms of crafting EA have given us plenty of fodder packs we have brand new packs in the season that we talked about in the last video we've got new milestone rewards for century of wins and century of matches that just plain give out fodder 83 5 84 2 83 3 now i know it doesn't count friendlies but we're all playing squad battles rivals and champs right now anyway to get ourselves completions on the evolutions right so whether it's you know scoring all these games winning these games like, these are really nice packs, and it's giving out a ton of fodder, which just helps the SBC grind and the SBC craft. This is nice. Like, this is good content. We have packs to grind. People have always been asking for the past couple of weeks, how do I get fodder? Well, right there. Like, EA just give it, gave us opportunities to get fodder. We have a decent upgrade pack SBC that is out right now as well, still with the Centurions crafting upgrade. Guys, I'm not trying to give EA too many props that they don't deserve, but what I'm saying is... This kind of content is answering like what we've wanted to see. We were disappointed during Trailblazers. They've turned it up this week, the last two weeks for Centurion. So we have to give credit where credit is due. There is stuff to be doing right now in this game. And we haven't even covered the biggest part yet. That is Evolutions. Before we get there really quick though, there was a compensation situation yesterday. It's always fun covering these just to say the words. Compensation situation. But EA dropped a new store pack, Centurion's Week 2 Foundations, which guaranteed you... Uh, nope, is that the one? No, no. Elite Centurions Week 2 pack. That's the one. It guaranteed 386 plus players, so a triple walkout. 
evidently there were people only getting like one or two of these so if you open this pack within the first two hours and 20 minutes that it was out or somewhere around there um then there's going to be some compensation uh in the coming days which actually means weeks maybe month so if you open this pack which i mean 350,000 coins that's the most expensive pack we've seen thus far that is a crazy pack, but if you did open that with coins or probably more likely FC points, there's some compensation coming your way. Not anymore though, so don't go and open that and think you're going to get compensation. EA already tweeted about it. They say, you know, it's kind of been fixed now, working to resolve the issue. I would not chance it now because EA's already tweeted. Usually in situations like that, you got to get involved before uh, the actual EA tweet and you have to get involved while the glitches or the mistake is still happening now okay one more sidestep before we talk about evolutions the team that is in packs team two of centurions gotta cover this as well a nice promo team here again i think this promo team and these last two have been a little bit better than trailblazers just because they're more packable i know the trailblazers had all the playstyle pluses and that was cool kiesa is a great card bon mati i'm very not happy with this card right now because i wasn't going to trade all weekend while i was gone and I decided to try to trade, and then I forgot that I decided to trade. So I'm losing like 200 can up on a Mati card, and that's not making me happy. But De Bruyne, Musiala, Correa, great promo cards. Even the Williamson center back card looks pretty solid. We have a mini release coming today. We'll talk more about that. And once again, these cards just seem to be a little bit more packable. The icons that we have as well. Um, I definitely think that Zanetti is the most hyped icon that we have. Right now in this uh, promo side, there's some big ones in there as well. I for Zico, right? Zico's in packs. Makalele's in packs. Trezeguet is really, really cheap. So Eusebio, 4 million coins. Wow. Um, is there Zico in packs? I thought there was. Maybe I can't find it. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't look like I see a Zico. So I am not entirely sure. Let me just search really quick because... All right, there it is. There's the Zico. 3.4 mil. Wow, uh, he's got the 90 pace. That looks way better than 89 pace. There you go. There's the Zico card. Crazy. Anyways, um, I just think that this promo team is better than Trailblazers. I'm kind of comparing these last two promos since they were kind of the first two. But besides Road to the Knockouts, of course. Um, the first two like separate promos that are non-live, that are just kind of like getting the ball rolling in this game. And this is definitely a better promo than Trailblazers. I've said it three times, but it goes saying another 10 times that that is the truth let's talk about evolutions guys because this is where the market movements are happening and also at the same time a lot of people are the most hyped for these in the game the brand spanking new ones which guys on the the friday video i was like nah i think ea is going to keep it quiet they're probably not going to do anything crazy and then look what happens they go bananas and it's almost the exact same situation that we had Last week, we had crazy new evolutions. Remember, everybody was going bananas about the Orente, Box to Box, Chameni, Crystal Dunn, whoever you're doing in that one. We have another 150,000 coin evolution that is making people panic sell cards on the market. Not just this one, though, because the free one is also just as good. We had Centurion Sharpshooter, which was awesome, getting insane shooting boost. A lot of people were putting strikers into this. Now you have a Centurion's Striker that you get a pace boost and the rapid play style from doing this uh, evolution. And you know what? The best thing is, it's not 40 games. It's about 20 to 25. I think you have some win requirements in there, it's like, especially in the Centurion Center attacking mid one. You have to win by like two plus goals. I think this one is 20 games easy. The Centurion's attacking mid might actually take you 25 games because of this one right here. Win five squad battle matches by at least two goals. Win or play five using your active Evo player. So if you can combine some of those, that's great. But it might take you a couple of extra uh, because there is that win objective in there. If you're trying to play your five rivals or champs and also win by two goals, that might that might take you a couple extra games to get done. But you get, I mean, incisive pass, pinged pass, long ball pass with nice boosts all around too. There's so many players that work so well for these evolutions. I mean, this is why the market is crashing, guys. It is the evolutions. Yeah, the SPC content is good, but it's truly these evolutions that are making the market crash. And I want to talk about why a little bit. First of all, like cards like this in the Centurion's evolutions that we've had the past couple of weeks... They actually go into our teams, right? So there's three reasons why the market is crashing with evolutions right now. Number one is people will place players in their team. Like if you're using a La Liga striker, but then you could go out and buy this Memphis Depay, who is extinct now, but you could buy him, right? He was on the market. You could go and buy him, go put him in this evolution and get him done in 20 games. 
play your weekend league with gold memphis the pie or just play squad battles on the side and get them done in a few in a few days you end up getting this memphis the pie in your team so you sell your other la liga striker to put depay in after you evolve him and then boom you have an untradeable version so prices are dropping because people are selling cards they're taking out of their team prices are dropping number two because people have to sell players to go and buy whoever they want to put into the evolution like maybe depay um and stuff like that so they're selling because they have to afford stuff selling because cards going to get replaced and also the third reason is People are selling cards in general because they got to get 150,000 coins so they can afford this, right? Like, this is not cheap. It's 150k. That is a big undertaking, but the upgrade is so good, and people get so excited about upgrading these cards and have them untradeable in their squads that they are willing to pay the price. Those are the three reasons why Centurion's Evolutions are dropping prices on the market right now, because look at these cards that you can get. I'm so glad. I, guys, I talked about this on the stream. I am so glad that I did not start Alessandrini's Trailblazer Striker or um, whatever other evolution I was going to do with him. I think I was going to do Trailblazer Striker. But now seeing this, I think your boy is locked into doing Alessandrini because this guy's extinct on the market. And I have one in my club for like a thousand coins that I picked up. Um, I mean, I'm going to do Trailblazer Striker with him, get that done. And then I can put him into the Centurion Striker. And get an absolutely cracked Alessandrini card with like 10 freaking playstyles or 9 playstyles. That is crazy. What a card. I know he's got bad links besides being French. But there's so many incredible evolutions in here. Not to mention that it's making cards on the market fly. And I tweeted this out on Friday right when I saw the content. I was like, guys, again, club, stock, discard players from the team of the week. And from promo teams, because you never know when you're going to have a situation like this where Garassi goes from, what was he, like 14,000 coins to being, I mean, he was 115K. He was like almost max price right away when people saw that he fit this Evo. And he was one of the most popular cards to put into it. Look at that, 90 pace, 91 shooting, 89 physical. Yeah, he's 3-star, three 3-star, three but holy smokes, what a card. Look at those finishing stats, 94. Um positioning 91 finishing 96 shot power and 93 strength that's crazy right and then all the play styles that gets added to the car too which is basically rapid the most important one like these evolutions are just freaking nuts man so let me know down in the comments who you're doing when we joe is one that a lot of people are doing uh kang and lee felix is very popular even road to the knockouts have dropped in price because joao pedro Joel Pedro, his 87 rated card that I could also do. Is he extinct? I bet he is. Yeah, he's extinct at 10,000 coins. You can do Trailblazer Striker and then put him into the Centurion Striker and get a card that is almost the same rating as his card on the market that is 450,000 coins. These cards that you can get from doing evolutions are so meta and so good that it, it's just making prices drop because people can sell what they got and go get an untradeable card. Maybe somebody who fits better than their team as well for, you know, just a little bit of effort of playing games and maybe 10,000 coins or trying to snipe a card for 10K, right? Usman Dembele, let's take a look at some of the price drops here, right? 114,000 coins all the way down to 80K. And then he's dropped even more into today on Sunday down to 69,000 coins. Mohamed Salah is 220. I was sold him for 270 last week. Neymar's under 200K. I'm pretty sure on Friday he was like still 290. Okay, he was down more. 260. 260, now he's down to 193. Um, and it's attackers that are being hit the most. Think about it, right? We have a Centurion's attacking mid, but probably more popular is the Centurion striker, who a lot of people are going straight away and doing. Guys, I'm actually really tempted as well to do Julian Alvarez in this because, I mean, look at the state of that card. That is literally better than his SBC. I know it doesn't have a playstyle plus, but it's like literally better than his SBC that was released uh, because he gets the pace boost. He just doesn't have any shooting traits, which is very disappointing and why i think i'm not going to do julian alvarez also ea said to save your founders evolutions because there's going to be more upgrades for them i just don't see a founders evolution for a card like him getting better uh than what is shown there but like that's the reason that these prices are dropping man look at rashford look at these strikers and look how much they're down rashford from 190k to 130,000 coins right now this is just like last weekend where we saw an insane evolution just make prices drop so much almost everywhere because people have to sell cards in order to get these evolutions done. And then when they get an evolution done, like we said, 
it's in your squad. And you don't have to buy as many players to fit your team. There's less demand for the market in general because your team is literally just set with all untradeable players that you get from the evolutions, which again, I'm not complaining about. Uh, and we expected the market to crash during this month of November 100%. I remember selling Hyunmin Sun last week for 81,000 coins on Sunday, and he is now half that price. That is bonkers. Like, that is crazy, man. Absolutely wild. Um, and again, it's just crazy that this new setting, this new feature that we thought was going to make cards only that were behind the curve with this new promo and new Centurion's Evolutions. It's just wild. So it's W content, though, and I'll always say this. I would rather the market crash with W content than with just panic selling and L content. But right now, the market is crashing. It is down, and it's because of W content. Now, will these cards continue to drop today? That's the next biggest question. What's going to happen to the market as we head into today on Sunday? I'm looking to buy right now. I can't lie. I'm looking for the quick flip. Let me make this clear. Quick flip scenario on some of these gold cards because just like we saw last week, where's my boy Hyunmin Sun? This is the exact same trade that I made last week, which makes me think it could be possible again. Squad battle rewards. Take a look at the 14 day graph. Last weekend, remember this? Sun was, of, of course, out of packs for Trailblazers, but he was 114K, dropped down to Saturday for 85,000 coins, went back up, and then dropped down Sunday. Early Sunday morning, squad battle rewards, he's 74K. By the time we get closer to content, which is like, you know, five hours after rewards, he goes from 74,000 coins all the way to 81k not a big flip but for four hours of a hold you go up and he goes up what was that like seven to eight thousand coins probably could have got snipes here at like 72 probably could have got sales here at like 83 so he goes up 10k let's say uh if you peak time it on the market and you go up 10,000 coins which is almost like 5k per card because you have 4k of tax for five to six k per card right there like that's awesome that is amazing profit for a four hour hold on an 80k card. Like that's that's not bad at all for that short of a flip. Now, we have more SBCs coming today that I would be very careful with, but I'm looking to flip some cards today after squad battle rewards because again, it's gonna create an opportunity to buy. I'm gonna look at the new Centurions cards that have just dropped in packs. This Kiesa card really interests me. I really wanted like 200 and like 50k, I think. Um, but especially because we had the Barella, this could be a card that goes up today. He's very hype. He's, I mean, very, he's got rapid playstyle plus, which is very comparable to like Usman Dembele. And I have Usman Dembele as a super sub on my team and he's freaking cracked. So, I mean, the Centurions cards, some of them are decently rare too. So, I mean, he was 300,000 coins yesterday after Barella was released and he was pretty much hanging around there until he just went to about 258 in the last hour. Might have missed a low point here. That's fine. If I see 260 flat, I'll, I'll give it a try. That's the way I'm going to view this. I'll give it a try just because he links to Barella. He's got some hype. I'm kind of interested in Zanetti as well. Um, and of course, if you don't want to risk it, it's fine. This is a this is a short, quick flip window. I do think prices after content today on Sunday will go lower, which is why I'm very, very careful today to stress that it is a quick flip window, guys, because after content today, you saw it on that graph that we just looked at, prices are probably going to drop further because Sunday always brings us one of these new SBCs, like an Icon Pack or a Hero Pack. And today, the Hero Pack, Max 87, is going away. But what's going to replace it? Most likely, according to some people on Twitter, the Max 87 Icon. EA's kind of been forming a trend here. On Sundays, we get either the Icon or we get the Hero Pack. And with this potentially coming again today, could you invest in some fodder? Well, first of all, we have to remember, what did EA require for this SBC last time? They required an 85 and an 86 rated squad for the Max 87 Icon Pack. But, Nate, don't get ahead of yourself here. That's what you're saying, right, as watching this video. Because if you remember, or if you're a real one, if you're really smart, you remember what happened last week. Good memory, right? Um... They switched up the Max 87 hero requirements from one squad to two. Remember that? We saw the 84s go crazy last week because they required the 84 rated squad and the 85 rated squad, which made 84s go bananas when they switched up the requirements. What would they or could they even switch up the requirements on this SBC? Well, last week it was 157,000 coins. And um, comparable to what the, they did with the hero SBC, this last Sunday... Oh, sorry, two weeks ago was the Icon Pack, and it was 157K. The Hero Pack 
last Sunday was 96k. I believe the first time it was released as well, it was 96,000 coins. So around 150k is again what I would expect for a hero pack today. But how else could e could EA get 155 or 150,000 coins of an SBC out of a one squad if they wanted to change up the requirements? An 87 rated squad. This 87 rated squad for Barella is 151,000 coins, and it's literally just an 87 rated squad. So if they wanted to do this today, they could change up the requirements and maybe make the icon pack just one squad. And if they did an 87 rated squad, what would go up the most? Your 88s and above. You're like, wait, really? Not 87s? 87s would probably go up too, but 88s and above would go up even more because, again, when it's those higher rated squads, that high rated fodder is what people have less of. Think about all the packs and objectives. People are getting those 83s, 4s, 5s, maybe even a couple 86s. Right, And even if you go take a look at the Barella SPC, what is Footbin saying is the cheapest way to do an 87 rated squad right now? It's with 88, 1, 2, 3, 88, 4, 88 rated, 5, 88 rated cards, and 83s, and a 187, and a couple 84s. 88s would go to the moon today if they change up the requirements. Now, they might just keep it the same as an 85 and an 86. So before you go ham on buying 88s i will tell you it's definitely not a guaranteed profit today if they change up the requirements there could be something that moves in that direction even further uh, but that it would be a little bit different right because last time they went the hero pack from one squad to two maybe they'll keep the icon pack today with two squads as well i'm kind of expecting that sbc to drop today i think it's pretty certain that we're going to see it it's not a guarantee but i think it's a very high percentage probability of that SBC drop in the game today. So definitely keep an eye out for that. If you want to buy a little bit of fodder, just invest at your own risk. Um, if the SBC does not come today, fodder would definitely drop. But this is usually the low point of fodder for the week. So that's why I think there's a okay opportunity to invest there if you would like to. And if not, if you want to flip with the rewards today, again, as we just talked about, potential to trade with the rivals or with the um, squad battle rewards today, then go ahead and do that. Kiesa said literally just went up 15,000 coins. He was 260. Now he is 275. Looks like we missed an opportunity here with Kiesa. It is okay. We will find other opportunities there. Other things to watch out for on the market today. Mini release from Centurions. Uh, Timo Werner is the card that we are going to need to watch today. I don't know where Tony Cruz and Thiago Silva are because those were leaks that we had during the week. I was kind of excited for Thiago Silva. I wanted to see another prem center back get a pace boost. And it uh, looks like right now we are not going to be seeing that according to this leak from Foot Sheriff and uh, Guardado, Guardado, Vargas, and Werner. But Werner definitely the most hyped of the three that could be coming today. And then there is one more SBC player leak. It's for Trejo, an Argentinian from La Liga. Uh, don't think that would be an absolutely insane SBC by any stretch of the imagination, but something to keep an eye out for as a part of content today. And then, of course, watch the store packs because it's a Sunday and the mini release EA would probably release some more store packs. But I will say this with the icon pack coming today, the last time the icon pack dropped on a Sunday, it's almost the same sort of situation that happened with the hero pack last week. There will probably be some price drops at the content time or an hour or so after that. As people get on the game, they see a new icon pack drop. They got to sell some cards once again to go and do this SBC. And you're probably going to see some prices drop because of that. And there will be opportunities to buy inside of that. Or depending on how much the prices drop, you also may be able to wait a little bit later. Um, and the prices could drop off late again Sunday night as we'll be looking for an opportunity to buy into Monday morning for a market rise, right? The Monday morning market rises have been insane the past few weeks. And I think that would potentially 265 with a hunter for Chiesa. We're going to go for it. We're going to risk it on just one. Okay. All right. We're just going to risk it on one because I need to make up my Bonmati losses, which is like 200 K, which is just pain and sadness. And we're going to make it back. It's going to be okay. All right gonna be okay but that's kind of what i'm thinking for today's content what could happen on this game today and of course just an overview of why the market is just down freaking bad at the moment but that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate's account see you guys in the video tomorrow peace